Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the registration system at Thompson Rivers University. This video will show you how to access the registration system, how to register in a course, how to drop a course, and a brief explanation of the waitlist system. The first step to registering in a course is navigating to the MyTRU student portal. You can access the student portal on our website by clicking MyTRU at the very top of the page. Now that you're on the portal, go ahead and select on-campus course registration. This will bring you to the main registration webpage. First, make sure to check prepare for registration. Here you can see when your time ticket is, the date and time that you can begin registering, as well as the status of your registration. Please note you will have to have made a tuition deposit in order to register in classes. Once you're ready to go, and it's your registration date and time, you can go ahead and click register for classes. Next, you will sign in using your TRU credentials. Now that you've signed in, you'll need to select a term. Remember that you can register for both the fall and winter terms. You have arrived at the main registration screen. You now have three choices to register in courses. If you watched our last video about timetabling and creating a plan, and have created a plan that you now would like to use to register, you can go to the Plans tab. Here you will find all of the plans that you have created in advance. Navigate to the plan that you wish to use and click Add All. You will see that they have now appeared down below and your timetable has begun to take shape. When you're ready to register in courses, be sure to check that all the drop down boxes under Action are set to Web Registered. When you are ready to register, click Submit. If the course is successfully registered, the status will have changed from pending to registered in green. You are now registered in the courses that you selected from your plan. Now I'm going to show you option number two. Option number two for registering in courses is using what are called course reference numbers or CRNs. Each course has a specific reference number that pertains to it and you can use this number to search up courses and add them to your course load. You can do so by clicking the Enter CRNs tab. Now that you are on the Enter CRN tab, you can go ahead and input the CRN specific to the course you are looking for. You can also add multiple courses by continuing to add other CRNs. Let's go ahead and add some CRNs. Next, select Add to Summary. As you can see, they have appeared down here, similar to what we did with the plans. When you're ready, go ahead and select Submit. If it was successful, their status will go from pending to registered. You are now registered in these courses. Now I'm going to show you option number three. Option number three is for students who have not created a plan or do not know the CRNs for their courses. You can simply search the courses and then register them individually as part of your timetable. Be sure to indicate the correct campus that you are studying on. Next, find the subject you are studying. You can either scroll through this list or begin typing in the subject. Let's look at biology. If you know the specific course you are looking for, you can enter that course number in here. If not, you can just search the subject. Let's do that. Here are the results for all the biology courses being offered this term. Please note there can be multiple pages. Click the arrow to go to the next page. This course also says linked next to it. If the course says linked, it means that it has either a seminar or a lab associated with it that must also be registered in to register in the course. To view all of the courses that are linked, click View Linked. Now you can see all of the labs that are linked with this course. You can scroll through these options to find one that fits your schedule. Once you've found one that fits your schedule, you can go ahead and click Add All to add not only the lab, but the course as well to your timetable. You can see that both the lab and the course have appeared down below here. Make sure they both say web registered and go ahead and click submit. As you can see, the status now says registered. So you are now registered in both of these courses. Now, if you wish to remove a course that you have registered in, you simply need to change the drop down under action to web drop slash delete. Next, hit submit. As you can see, the status now says delete. That means those courses have been removed from my timetable and I'm no longer registered in them. Now I'm going to show you how the waitlist system works. First, I'm going to find a course, 
search. As you can see, there are some courses here that say that they are full. You can see that here. Zero of 32 seats remain, but 32 of 32 waitlist seats remain. This means that I can add myself to the waitlist for this course. To do so, I'm going to select Add, and then instead of Web Register, as there is no longer seats left, I'm going to change the action dropdown to Waitlist. Then I'm going to hit Submit. If successful, it will change my status from Pending to Waitlisted. Essentially what this means is that I have been added to the list waiting for a seat to become available in this course if somebody chooses to drop it. If somebody does drop it and I'm at the front of the waitlist, I will receive an email that lets me know that I have 24 hours to change my action from waitlisted to web registered and click submit. That email will be sent to your student email. Be sure to check this frequently if you are waitlisted in a course or have it forwarded to an email you do check. Once you receive the email, you will have 24 hours to change your action from waitlisted to web registered. If you fail to do so, then you will be removed from the waitlist and the next person in line will have their opportunity to register in the course. If you miss your window and are removed from the registration waitlist, you can always add yourself back to the waitlist, but you will be at the back of the line. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at futurestudents at tru.ca for domestic students and ireg at tru.ca for international students. I hope this video has been of value and welcome to TRU.